we were incredibly lucky that the Pisgah Cover Bridge is located just two hours from where we shot most of the scenes for the movie. Thanks to the folks at the Randolph County Travel and Tourism Office, the North Carolina Land Trust, and even the North Carolina State Zoo, we were able to have exclusive access to the bridge for two days to film those scenes ar around the covered bridge. It was cold. We wanted to minimize the effect of shooting around a historic site where people come to visit, so we shot the scenes in December and the temperature had dropped down into the low 20s during the day, so the cast and crew was about to freeze to death. We had no power at the bridge. We had to run the camera and equipment off of AC converters in the vehicles, and uh, we did rent a community building about 200 yards away from the bridge, and the cast and crew was able to run up there occasionally and get warmed up, but it was cold. We couldn't have built a set more perfect than the Pisgah Cover Bridge to meet the storyline in the film. In the story, a man builds a covered bridge for his dying wife as a gift, and years later donates it to the town as a community park. And so that's what the Pisgah Cover Bridge is. It's a historic covered bridge that's been turned into a community park, and so it's perfect. And thank goodness for that, because if we would have had to build a covered bridge and create a park around it, that would have been probably 250% of the film's budget. So thank goodness we had access to the Pisgah Cover Bridge and it was a perfect stand-in for the bridge in the movie.